Hello, Grimos, and welcome back to downloadable content. And what? Is it Monday? It has to be Monday because it smells like Mod, Mod Showcase, Showcase Monday. Monday. This week, I'm actually going to bring you 10 of the best mods from all year. That's right, you're gonna see some mods that you've seen before, but why not look at the 10 best one as we round out this year? Without further ado, let's dive in. By the way, this video is gonna be combined in rapid fire. Number one is the Medieval Mega Pack by Sushin. And this one literally just got updated to add a ton of new things for this one. But this gives you brand new categories. It's amazing. Look, they added the American category. So you can have, I don't know, a bunch of American stuff. That, that looks American. There's also a range category where you can get this amazing flint lock pistol. This has easily become one of my absolute favorite ones to use. It's just so mm, fantastic. You just aim and fire. Oh, so good. There's honestly a weapon in here for everyone from rarity to tools to Greco-Roman. You can find any weapon you desire. Up next, we have Headbreaker by Hobomatic, and this one is pretty straightforward. You can smash their heads, and well, gooey things happen. You can even use the environment to do so. Oof! Headbreakers is a blast, and adds a bunch of new stuff to your gameplay. So if you were looking to break some heads, this is the mod to do so. Up next, we have the Tools of the Trade by Groove Slinger. This gives you awesome new gadgets. Everything from a climbing pick to bolts all the way to hidden blades. These hidden blades are fantastic. All you do is equip them and place them on your forearms. And then just use the grips and triggers to use them. So now your battles can be epic. There's also one that's a grappling hook. So you can do some grappling hook stuff. You'll also get a category called Dishonored, where you can get a crossbow. And this crossbow is absolutely fantastic. It's honestly one of my favorite things. Up next is Earthbending by Davey3684. And Earthbending in VR feels fantastic, especially in Blade and Sorcery. There's a lot of simple things you can do, like pulling up a rock from the ground and punching it. You can also pull up a rock wall and smash it, call spikes from the ground, Knockdown spikes, and my favorite game crashing ability, you could call a pillar down from heaven. There's even full body tracking now, so you could kick these rocks. Earthbending also have cross merges with the baseline spells to do some fantastic new things. I love freezing people. Needless to say, Earthbending is absolutely one of my favorites. Up next, we have Jawbreaker by Hugh Johnner. This one's one of my absolute favorites. Let loose a punch or a devastating blow to their jaw and well, break it. Their mouth will hang open and it is hilarious. And if you're using any other mods, well, it works together. Jawbreaker is just an absolute great mod. Moving on, we have the Yamato by Gen X with Sheath Framework by Hugh Johnner. With these two mods together, it makes this weapon unstoppable and mega high quality. Just look at this unsheathing. It really works. And it feels really great. The Yamato itself is one of my absolute favorite weapons to use. Plus, it has a bunch of abilities. I like shooting daggers. I also love doing the anime slice where you hold down the spell use button and just cut through them. And when you let go and resheath your blade, they die tragically. And then of course there's the judgment's end cut. This one feels so great to do. The sheath is great because it enables you to go, well, directly through solid objects. Pretty sweet. And then of course you have to admire the amazing wind and bone effects with these tassels. S tier mod. Up next is a simple spell called Zendatsu by Genix. This one is absolutely one of my favorites. It enables you to slice them right in their torso. You could also fully customize this so you could do it in slow motion or with no spell at all. What I like to do is use slow motion in a simple spell. The screen will flicker blue. That lets me know it's on. So now when I use one of my favorite weapons, 
go into slow motion and attack, well, near the torso. It's just satisfying. Up next is Lashing by Linica. Now, there's a ton of things this spell can do, like I could use this as a grapple and just kind of pull myself over here. I could really be a low-budget Spider-Man with this. There's also a utility mode, well, where you can build. Look at this. I can climb anything now. You can really get creative. Um, I did on stream where I, I made like crazy buildings with this one, and it was like a blast. One of the most satisfying things is to imbue your weapon with lashing and just cut all these lines. Look how beautiful this is. And yes, it's an absolute blast to attach people to things as well. Bye. Up next, we have Survivable Dismemberment by Total Concentration. This one is an absolute must have. It adds a bunch of new things for your gameplay. So with this guy here, I can just go ahead and, you know, lop off an arm and he'll still be able to get back up. So let's go for the leg. Now that we've chopped a leg off and destabilized him, he can't get back up. So this adds a new layer to combat. So now I'm really going to have to finish this guy off. Survivable Dismemberment is a must-have for me. I use it all the time, every single day, every dungeon, and I cannot imagine playing without it at this point. Our final entry for this year's mod showcase is Carnage Reborn by Meme Man. Now, the reason I chose this one is because it starts to deform things like enemies, as well as weapons if you enable it, but for me, I just like deforming their faces. Just look at this man's eye socket as you go to town on him. Look, the front of his face is all mushed in. And if I use a good old trench mace, bad things happen. Carnage Reborn is another must have. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Before we go, I have one honorable mention, and I have to say it. It is a bit of an older mod, but of course, it stays around because it's one of the best. And that is The Outer Rim by Alex. The Outer Rim gives you a litany of things from the Star Wars universe. You can make your own lightsaber or take one of your favorites. There's things like jetpacks and thermal detonators to things also like helmets. Of course, there's one of my favorite, the Ambin Phase Rifle. This guy will really get the job done. <laughs> Well, Greebos, that is it for this week's and uh, this year's Mod Showcase Monday. I hope you had a ton of fun. Hell, I also had a ton of fun with all these mods. And I just want to say thank you so much for this past year. It's been awesome. I look forward to hitting 100,000 subscribers. Didn't quite hit it by Christmas. And that is quite awesome. All right, and hey, listen, now's a great time. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do it now. It's free. Just click the little subscribe button, and I will greatly appreciate it. But other than that, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by. I am Rob from Downloadable Content, and I will see you, well, in the next video.